Hey guys, welcome to New by Design. Today we're going to be doing a video here on Black Ops 3 and we're going to be checking out the ARK7. We're going to look at all the attachments with some gameplay with those attachments on and we're going to look at my recommended setting for this gun. So we're going to start with the reflex sight or the red dot sight as a lot of people do call it. And you're going to see that target acquisition is super, super fast on this gun. Even though I have tragic aim on that first kill, we're still able to pull it together and manage to land a triple kill out of this. Now we're going to look at the recon sight, which is a single zoom sight. It has only got one setting, but it is still actually pretty quick for target acquisition. As you can see here, we managed to turn this, even though that guy was shooting at us first we still managed to turn around and pick off the kill there now we're gonna look at the varex 3 which is a multiple zoom sight basically you hit your right joystick in to adjust between the two settings although i will say with this sight, i do find it difficult to actually appropriately pick between the two sites and i usually just take the shot from whichever setting it's on either long range or short range unless it is really long range and i feel like i have a ton of time to make the shot then i will adjust to long range now we're going to check out the thermal sight, which obviously when you get somebody in your sights and this not doesn't have the cold blooded perk on then they kind of highlight like that guy did without the thermal well, I probably wouldn't have seen that guy there and he probably would have taken me out and I wouldn't have got this double kill here But either way, we're gonna take a look at the attachments now You can see the quick draw makes it so you aim down the sights faster suppressor silences you so you don't appear on the minimap and The uh, grip itself actually makes it so that your gun isn't all over the place with recoil Definitely a must for this gun because it has huge kick high caliber makes headshots uh, take more damage or increased damage for headshots Stock makes it so you move faster while you're aiming down the sights the laser is absolutely useless for the gun But that's mostly because of the maps that are available right now It actually doesn't make a difference at all really that you can notice FMJ makes it so you do over penetration, go through walls, and sometimes cement, depending on how thick it is. Extended mags makes it so that you obviously change your mags fast. And we're going to check out the timing on how much time you do save. So without extended or without fast mags on, you're going to have 2.753 seconds. And with fa fast mags on, it's going to take you much less, as you'll see here. And it goes all the way down to 1.785 seconds. That is huge. For the extended mags, you go from 30 rounds to 42 rounds, as you can see there. The long barrel increases the range and damage of the this gun and the rapid fire makes it so it fires really fast although I would stay away from that on this gun itself you can see we're gonna go ahead and check out how long it takes to empty 42 rounds and it's gonna be 4.01 or 071 seconds and with rapid fire on it is going to be 3.754 so a pretty substantial savings in time so now we'll look at my setup for this gun you can see I'm using the reflex sight just because it is easy as fast as on target. The grip is a must for this gun. Extended mags because I like having the extra 12 mags and fast mags because the reload time makes a huge difference on this gun. I also use trip mine flashbangs because it's handy, hardwired and tactical mask. And that is all guys. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it useful at all, it sure would help me a lot if you guys would click that like button. Also, if you guys have time, you can hit that bright yellow subscribe button just in the center there. That'll notify every time I publish a new video. Thanks very much for watching guys.